I'm Steve. I'm Steve. I'm Steve. I'm Steve. I'm Steve. Every year, millions of people express romantic desire for each other by exchanging boxes, boxes, boxes of chocolate, flowers, and valentines. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Retailers stock shelves with merchandise covered in stylized hearts and cupids, preparing, preparing, preparing for the observance of St. Valentine's Day. But, 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 but how did these curious customs originate? But, 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 but how did these curious customs originate? But 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 the roots of the day predate Christianity. The customs go back to the Roman Lupercalia, a feast, a feast, a feast celebrated in February in honor of the pastoral god Lupercus. A feast, a feast. Now, as Christianity spread throughout the Roman Empire, it was common, 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 common for pagan converts to retain their religious customs and practices. So soon, the mingling, the mingling, the the. The mingling, the mingling, the mingling, the mingling, the mingling of paganism and Christianity became inseparable, and Lupercalia evolved into the observance of Saint Valen, 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 Valentine's Day. So, what harm can there be in celebrating Valen, 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 Valentine's Day? So, what if it has pagan roots? Well, God warns us not to mix pagan customs with worshiping the true God. The New Testament compares mixing paganism and Christianity to worshiping demons. Observance of this holiday has to be questioned. I'm Steve Chocolate.